Rory Rodriguez's vocal performance on Sleep Talk produced by Daniel Bronstein is an example on how to get a perfectly tracked vocal. And in this clip, not only does Hemrick go over Daniel's vocal chain used in tracking Rory's vocal, Hemrick also shows you how he takes a great performance and turns into something even more special and magic with the emotion of the track. Enjoy. So first I'm gonna show how the pre-cooked vocals that you get was made. This is uh, by Daniel. I believe this is kind of a method he used uh, for them. Excellent work, Daniel. Fantastic. Um, yeah, Daniel's great. Yeah. Um, in bed, say your name under okay, let's have that. The blood stains on my hands. This is just a noise suppressor. That I, I was watching his spirit box and um, saw him use uh, that in that one too. Then he used a little bit of tuning. The blood stains. This song, this uh, vocal track has already been committed twice. I'm guessing he did already stuff before before this point as well. Um, committing and committing. Awesome. Then it was um, this old one, the REQ, boosting a lot of top. The blood stains on my hands, a three year, one night stand. Love is bitter. Then some Sturgis classic. The blood stains on my hands, a three year. Just hitting it a little bit. Some yes, sir. The blood stains on my hands, a three year. And then a bit of LA2A. Compressing it even more, rounding it off. <sighs> so if I'm exporting this committing, it will give me the, um, the same. Oh, yeah. So let's do. This was basically the same as the ones uh, that was in the stem pre-mixed folder. One night stand, love is bitter when it's spent, lying next to me in bed, say your So yeah, all credits to Daniel, fantastic work. Um, then there's a lot of more processing going on, on each of these stem track. I mean, they sound good, like, when it's spent, like, like they do, but um, gonna have them shine a little bit more and get them wet. Okay, and for that I also need to go through the um, effect sense. Um, my first reverb um, is a revive um, plugin. I have it set to three seconds or two seconds. This is what I usually send out some vocals to, uh, main reverb for the vocals. I think it's um, it's in um, pretty much factory default and then maybe just some small tweaks. Sounds good out the box. And then I have um, a quarter note delay with Echo Boy, bit of low cut and high cut, um, always have this longer one, that's the one I showed you with a um, snare drum before, for um, some distant stuff, then we have the another Echo Boy in half note, uh, that's what I usually use for delay throws um, um, to automate um, vocals into or the ending of um, solo guitars when you need that big tail of wow, 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 wow. Then I have my chorus, uh, which is also a sound toy. Mm. And my other main vocal delay, medium hall, medium random hall, 
about two seconds. Um, sounds good too. And then I usually set up a shimmer uh, effect, like the. It's probably about default with this dual and big stereo, maybe changes here and mix to all the way to the wet wet side. Yeah. Then and this one is all always in the mix and this one I use sometimes. Sometimes I set up other ones as well. So it always varies a little bit. Um the black hole is kind of sim similar to shimmer. Um, also probably about default with some yeah probably like that cool I will show you in a bit how, how they sound um, that's all my effects uh, for the whole session the blood stains on my hands a three okay um then there's still some of daniel's processing on here i think yeah the reverbs is definitely his there's some automation being done to the pre-delays very clever um how they go from dry to a bit wetter anyway i'm going to show this first Dance, our feet firm in quicksand. Love is bitter when I see how much I can make you bleed. It's just extra push for compression. So these are the ones that are on. The, there's no EQ here at the moment. Um, so this is a great tool if you, like you think that your vocal sounds good, and then you can <laughs> just put this on and. Uh, there's an extra level of uh, whoa, that, that's good. In dance, our feet firm in quicksand. Love is bitter. A bit of uh, large reverb on. In dance, our feet firm in quicksand. Love is bitter when that bleed that wow wow in the background. In dance, our feet firm in quicksand. Wow wow wow. Uh, anyway, um, then there's the Valhalla room reverb. Um, tiny bit of mix is set on 16. My hands a three year one night stand. Love is bitter when it's spent. Oh, it's going like crazy here. I must have messed something up. Like that, I think. In dance, our feet firm in quicksand. Doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, this is the main reverb for the vocals. Um, for that track. Um, it's probably on most of the tracks, but with a a little bit different mix for the backings it's going to be a bit more um, and then we have um, some um, a cut here at 234 taking away a little bit of top end I, I drink and Sounds much better. And um, then we have the Paltech Pro boosting some 10k. Um, and um, this one is linked to um, so, um, this attenuates 
um, 10k or 5k or 20 and it like rounds it off a bit there um, so it's a little bit of 10k and then there's a little bit of 100 hertz uh, boosted not much I mean, even though there's not much vocal here at 100 hertz, it does something nice to the vocals anyway. Um, and um, this one also puts on a, an extra dB of volume just by default, so it's a bit tricky to A-B it sometimes. It's a, you get happy with the volume. I found, I found a new favorite here, um, cheap as well, Rule Tech. Um, this one sounds amazing as well. On my hands, a three-year, one night stand, love and dance. Let's play the same. To the night, I drink and drive, anything to help me let go, let go. You feel the pain. Anyway, there's a lot of good plugins, of course. Um, this one was the one used. Um, some small dips. To the night, I drink and drive. Anything to help me let go, let go. You feel the pain, I feel the same. But we cannot um, What I've done on a lot of songs, I think. Uh, like sometimes when he Rory sings long notes it's gonna have a nasty build up around 1k maybe 800 um, and then usually automate like um, add on an, a new EQ and then maybe go something like Um, something like that and that can be quite effective to make those automation especially when there's like there's also like in the double track this is actually a center I think and one left and one right and it all builds up so um sometimes that's necessary to do um and then um when we i think it was rory that said like ah oh, the vocals on the song called drunk sounds much better and um then i used this eq match to see because I couldn't really tell what was going on what was missing from from that drunk track so I used um, this is my favorite uh, if I'm going to match something like this uh, it's much better than the fab filter um, uh, if you don't understand what I'm saying I can show you what I did this is vocals from a different track when the air gets thinner, I'll be so beautiful. Where I'm entirely. It's better. Anyway, for some reason, these sounded better. Um, I guess it was different uh, vo uh, vocal tracks, uh, recording days. So I took these vocals as a reference and you can capture the frequency spectrum of it if you just play it for a bit where can you run when the air gets thinner every stop you take where can you hide? very cool and then you have to put it on the track you 
um, want to make just as good. And then you capture capture a bit from that track. And then it gives me a curve, the difference of, of the two tracks. Um, ooh. Don't know why it gave me anyway that much um, uh, low end there, but. I had everything to lose, always find a It's pretty shitty if you go 100%, but um, if you're keeping it uh, uh, conservative. Uh, this is what it gave me on that pass um, when I actually did it. Into the 